How's it going everyone? We are coming up on the month of June and I want to highlight a few games that I would love to see as PlayStation Plus Essential titles. Hopefully this month we don't get any crossover with PlayStation Plus Extra and after May was a little lackluster to say the least. Uh, June would be a great time to bounce back for PlayStation Plus and I think it was in April where Sackboy A Big Adventure dropped on Plus Essential and Plus Extra at the same month. Hopefully none of that nonsense. So let's talk about it. I do have some games that that are uh, plus premium titles. One game in particular is a plus premium title. But outside of that, the other games are titles that I think would be pretty good additions to the uh, plus essential catalog. Right off the rip, I do want to mention Dreams. I'm going to mention this every time until it actually drops on Plus in some form because it's just malpractice that they haven't dropped this game on PlayStation Plus. The fact is, this game... I guess underperform from a commercial standpoint, but I feel like PlayStation and Sony have done a pretty poor job in uh, promoting this game. Obviously, it's done by Media Molecule and was very much surrounded and uh, catered towards its creation suite, and it was a pretty unique game, and it didn't require you to have a ton of creativity because you could just explore uh, everybody else that's more creative than you and their creation. So it offered a unique playstyle. They did have like a demo available, I think, or a trial, but support for this game is wrapping up and uh it's a shame that we couldn't have gotten this game on playstation plus in some form prior to support running out that is just one of the biggest head scratchers i think when you talk about you know plus essential and plus extra games and just the way this game was handled it's just jarring to say the least hopefully whatever media molecule is working on next will deliver but dreams is a game that i think should hit playstation plus in some form next up i want to give a shout to sifu i know i know maybe this is too much of an ask but guess what this game came out over a year ago at this stage and i don't think it's too big of an ask given the fact that Again, it's a little bit older. Um, I know that it does hold up in price. Like, even when it goes on sale, you'll be hard-pressed to find it less than $25. But the game itself is an incredibly challenging martial arts-based title by Slow Clap, the developers of, of Absolver. And this game just completely exceeds upon Absolver in, um, in so many ways. Like, I did not expect Sifu to be as good as it was, but it had a great art style, a great gameplay style that, yes, you know, did get rage-inducing to some people. But uh, it's a unique game where... I also see this being a game that a lot of people didn't check out just because they didn't know if the style of the game would uh, appeal to them. But as a plus essential game, you're talking about a game that was really well received. And I think people would just be pleasantly surprised to see a game like this as a part of the plus essential library. Sifu is a great game. And, uh, you know, plus essential or plus extra for that matter makes all the sense in the world to me. All right, moving on from that, Bastion is a throwback, but I think we can go back into the vault and still dig up some of these plus titles uh, or games as plus titles. Like, Bastion came out, obviously, originally on the Xbox 360, I want to say, like, 2011, but the PlayStation 4 version came out in, like, 2015. It's a tremendous, tremendous game. It was Super Giant Games' real coming out party, um, and at this point, obviously, they're very well known for Hades, and they're working on Hades, too, but Bastion still holds up very nicely. The art style is obviously still tremendous. Narration is great. Gameplay, I wouldn't say is blow away it's like fine but um you know it's nothing to write home about but $14.99 for Bastion I think is a great deal and again the art style and the game itself has aged really really well um gameplay withstanding and the gameplay again is still fine but uh not as uh, high of a level as some of the other titles you see these days and certainly not like a Hades but Bastion is still a fairly strong game that I would recommend everybody to check out. It does often go on sale relatively cheap. Like, it'll go down to $3 and change. But uh, you know what beats $3 and change? Just as a part of your subscription service. So I would say that would be a nice addition as well. Next up, want to give a mention to every Metro game. Like, if they want to give the Metro Saga bundle, that would be great. I mean, it goes on sale for $9. So it's not like that would be that crazy of an ask, all things considered. But um, if they just want to go with Metro Redux, I think that would be pretty good as well. Metro 2033 and Last Light are both both really solid games and they've both been upgraded for the PlayStation 4. Um, you know, they could be upgraded even further, but you'll take what you can get with Metro Redux. They uh, look great and are uh, incredibly atmospheric, narrative-driven first-person shooters. Metro Exodus is quite good as well and has a PS5 upgrade, so if you were to offer one game, probably Metro Exodus would be the one that people would be the happiest about just because it does have a true PS5 upgrade as well, but you know, these are games that I feel like should be played sequentially, so you know, if you're offering just Exodus, I don't know, that would be a little bit of a jarring addition uh just because you would want to play 2033 and last light but you know offering exodus would still be a really nice addition and hey if they want to go above and beyond and offer the saga bundle i mean i would be all over that but um i don't see that happening at the very least redux which was on 
Plus Premium Gabaka pull from Plus Premium. Or, again, if they want to do Exodus Standalone, I do think that would be a quality addition to PS Plus. Next up, this game is available on EA Play, but like, I know most of you guys aren't EA Play subscribers. A Way Out is 80% off for $5.99. This is a fantastic cooperative uh, narrative-driven title. Not super lengthy, but you know what? Sometimes these days you want a game that's a little bit on the shorter side, and A Way Out can definitely offer that. A lot of twists and turns with its story as well, and I thought it was executed fairly well. I know that most people think that from, you know, Hazelight's other co-op game, It Takes Two, that's probably the stronger game. I liked A Way Out very much, though, and uh, again, if you have a friend to play the game with. I think it's a good time to go through the game a little bit of a more mature story and uh, yeah, the writing and the voice acting, all of those elements uh, turned out really well in the game and Hazelight really found themselves a niche that they can expand upon with the success of A Way Out and obviously they parlayed that into the success of It Takes Two as well. Lastly, I mean I'll be a broken record and give Gravity Rush remastered a mention until I'm blue in the face just so we can promote this incredible series a little bit more. Originally started on the PlayStation Vita Obviously, not a lot of you guys picked up a Vita, but maybe you'll pick up a Q-Light, am I right? Uh, but then it got ported to the PlayStation 4 with Gravity Rush Remastered and ultimately had a sequel with Gravity Rush 2. Gravity Rush 2 available on Plus Extra, but Remastered is a Plus Premium game. You know, it's a fantastic, fantastic game. Very unique gameplay style that really accentuated a lot of the Vita-specific features, but it also makes a smooth transition to the PlayStation 4 DualShock controls, or DualSense if you're using the PS5 controller. Um, art style is fantastic, aged really well, uh, great main character, uh, a soundtrack is pretty good, and the gameplay, while it did, it was rough around the edges at times, uh, it's so unique, and the gravity manipulation elements is something that you don't see a lot in video games, so kudos to the, uh, for them trying something new, and ultimately, I think, uh, a lot more positive than negative when you look at the entirety of Gravity Rush Remaster. so definitely a game that I feel like if you watch our videos, I've recommended it enough times for you guys to check out, but you know, if it's a plus essential t uh, title, I think uh, more people will ultimately check that game out as well. But that is going to do it for me. Again, a lackluster May in the books as far as plus essential goes, but hopefully June uh, will bring forth with it some better uh, plus titles. That is the hope, at least. You know, sometimes we do have these uh, stretches of lackluster titles. Uh, for a couple months, but then sometimes we just get banger months, so hopefully uh, next month is a little bit better, um, you know, and, uh, to be fair, Plus Extra has been on a roll, and I think that's been really, really good, so we'll see how it all turns out, we should be finding out the Plus titles here very shortly, at the latest next Wednesday, and usually a little bit earlier than that, based on, like, Deal Labs' leak, so keep you guys posted on that, that'll do it for me, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, sound off there, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.